In this video, we're gonna talk about how to maintain your results once you've finished a diet, how to keep your newfound level of body fat, and the things you need to consider on your reverse diet. Coming up. Are we? Yeah. I thought it was food swaps in the kitchen. But it's, it is that kind of, it is that, isn't it? It's like making sure, you know, keep All the right, same yeah, foods cool, in that you've cool. got. Yeah, we can do, yeah, yeah, cool. And we can go, yeah. <laughs> So we're Dan Mike, also known as Biceps and Banter. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. Give us a little like. What's in your fridge? And you'll enjoy all the rest of the content. What's in your fridge? So, when it comes to dieting. What's in your fridge? Oh, what's in my fridge? Let's have a little look. It's going to start beeping if it stays open too long. When, um, it comes to when it comes to dieting, once you've. Obviously, all the foods you're eating to diet, so lower calorie things like eat lean chives. Cheese, I you mean. know? and 0% yogurt, for example. Chicken sausages. What you don't want to do is go back to eating crap versions of those foods or higher what? calorie versions what? of those foods. What you want to do is make sure that you keep up with your normal diet food. You just eat maybe slightly more of them. Or what some people do is they eat the same amount of food they were eating maybe during the weekend and the weekends, be a bit more social, enjoy a nice meal out or two every so often. And by default, your calories over the week will come back up to somewhere near maintenance but you maintain all the healthy habits you had when you were dieting. Food swaps. Yep. So there's some real quick, simple, easy things that you can just start to swap around in your diet. But Great one. But cooking in coconut oil is healthy. Don't use oil like this because you'll pour loads in. Use things like this where you spray a little bit on. Perfect. One calorie a spray. So don't go back to then using that. Keep using this forever and ever. Yeah. Ever. What is the point? I mean, you, know, you, might, you might have to get a new one because it'll run out. But yeah. You know. So you know, in this, per 15 mil, so that's a, a tablespoon. Yeah. Most you're probably going to use more. Yeah. 123 calories. Pointless. 123 calories. Pointless. Don't even ever do Pointless. it. Pointless. Ridiculous. If you do that over three meals, that's a lot. You know, 375. Don't leave things like peanut butter lying around the house. Very calorie dense. Very easy to eat a lot of without but even realizing it. It's not healthy. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Not healthy. Not when you eat a whole fucking tub of it every night in front of the TV, is it? So little things like that, just make sure that all those foods you've had when it comes to dieting, so we talked about the 0% yogurt, don't then put in high fat yogurt back in your fridge because it's just pointless. You're adding in those calories unnecessarily. Likewise, if you know that you can't have chocolate in the house and leave it, don't buy it. Once you finish your diet, don't go back to all those bad things you used to do that made dieting hard for you. Things like buying chocolate, buying crisps, all that sort of stuff. Keep that for social occasions when you go out it's loads more enjoyable to do it that way than to leave it lying around the house and you're going to inevitably snack on it. Don't do it. So should we do um, should we do the rest of them? Should we do yep. like some other useful ones? Other useful Maybe ones. Maybe we'll do like short, sharp cuts of us in different, right. different scenarios. Not different places. Different places. Not. And we'll just go, take egg yolks out of eggs. Like stuff like that. And then just cut to the next one. <laughs> Low fat crisps instead of high fat crisps. You're in the shot there. <laughs> I'm in the shot there. So the yolks out of eggs. It's fucking ridiculous. So the yolks out of eggs. Can't do it. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Take the egg tar bags. Alright, next one. That'll do. <laughs> Lodo instead of bread. And bagel things instead of bagels. Buy small multi-pack versions of foods you like. Low calorie ice cream instead of Ben and Jerry's. Bacon medallions instead of full fat bacon. Sugar free drinks instead of the full fat. Cauliflower rice instead of cauliflower. <laughs> no, not instead of cauliflower. <laughs> cauliflower rice instead of normal rice. We don't have any cauliflower rice. And there's a few more. Definitely a few more you can do, but there's just a few tips for you to help you on your way post diet. Keep those foods in. Don't revert back to eating all the stuff you eat before. Just have more of it, if needs be. Just yep. have a little bit more of it. So those things can help you whilst dieting. Often overlooked, like people stroll for meal ideas and it's like, oh, I keep going over my calories, but realistically, if you're making those smart choices, you can have still a, a large variety, like we're talking, you're still getting in like low calorie ice cream, things like that. 
You can still have nice sweet stuff like Dan says, snack bars, you can have um, like Greek yogurt, you can make, mix with berries, things like that. Those things are just going to make, uh, make your life on a diet 10 times easier. And then post diet, again, just instead of reverting back to what you used to do, which is what got you in the position in the first place where you needed to lose weight, people often know how to lose weight on a diet and then they know how to regain weight because yeah. that's the flux that they always go in. Nobody knows how to maintain. You will maintain by just eating more of those same good foods that you ate on your diet to maintain. Keep the flexibility for the bedroom and social occasions, not in the kitchen. Don't leave, don't do it in your own house. Like it's pointless trying to squeeze in chocolate bars and stuff of an evening just in your own home. Like for the sake of it. It's a waste, it's a waste of your calories. Like do it at social events, do it at events, you know you're gonna enjoy them. Things like that, uh, where you can fit in a normal social life, that sort of stuff. So I hope you like that video. Don't forget to share it with the mate who needs to watch this. Hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, that's not mine.